Hello everyone, I am back with another video. Um, I made a few Traveler's Notebook size journals up that are blank or bare or whatever you want to call them. Uh, these are, they will fit in a insert. They are four and a half by eight and a half. So they fit in a standard uh, notebook insert. Traveler's Notebook is what I'm trying to say. There are three of these available and if you're interested in these, they will not be in my Etsy. Just email me below. My email is below. Um, I am going to do these journals for $20, and that includes shipping. And each one of them have a bag of uh, ephemera, which is a mixture of vintage and um, modern. So I am going to flip through one and show you what it looks like. And then when you email me, just let me know if you want Doubt Your Doubt, which is this one, the shabby girl which is this one or choose kindness which is this one and i will go through one and then i'm going to go through the pack of ephemera so you can see um what there is in there and there's actually going to be more than that because i'm destashing so i'm just going to fill up um these bags so there is a pocket in the front and there's a pocket a long pocket in the back like this this is prima paper it's nice and sturdy it is a five hole pamphlet stitch and all of the pages I think are vintage. We will go through that. I did add in the front pocket of each one the extra Prima paper because it is nice cardstock and um, you can use that as a journaling card. And so there's pockets in the front with the music paper. This is part of a land deed. This is an inspirational book. This is a vintage um, animal book. I hope I'm in frame, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, there is Edith Holden with a little pocket here, and I left this um, open so if you have a bigger piece of ephemera, let me get something here, you know, and it needed to stick out that it, you know, you would have room. And then there's copy dyed paper, and then this is from the Antiques, it's called Antiques Magazine. This is a vintage quilt book page. And then this is from a children's uh, storybook, The Little Princess, and it's got a tuck spot there. And then this is Helen Steiner Rice, I do believe. There's coffee dyed paper. This is a vintage uh, storybook page. And then the coffee dyed paper flips out there, so you can make that a tuck spot. There's another top tuck there. Oops, there's that page. Almost skipped it. And then this flips out here. It just repeats, you know, back through. And then there's the other side of the Edith Holden in that vintage um, animal book. And then here's the other part of that deed. This is from 1930 something. I've seen it somewhere. No, I don't see it. And then the other uh, pocket back here. And there are, let's see. Twenty-four. So there's 48 pages front and back. And so they're, and of course they're thin right now because there's no ephemera in them. So I will show you the ephemera and they're all the same except of course, you know, some differences because of pictures or whatever. Um, there is vintage tickets and then just a little um, card for journaling, like a little postcard, which is not vintage. There's a vintage playing card. There is some tags and this one is wallpaper. And then these are card stocks so you can write on those. There are two of these tags that's just um, like the craft paper and two index cards with lines that's been coffee dyed. There is a one of the coat room checks and some tickets. These are not vintage. And then here is a vintage um, gospel hymnal page. And these can all be used for decoupage or collaging, whatever you want to use. This is an old uh, sewing book. And then here is a recipe page. This is nice and sturdy. And then you get a one recipe 
you get one vintage photo you get a vintage postcard I don't know what year that is there's another playing card there is a vintage check this one is from 1963 there is a uh, library catalog card that's vintage there is a green guest check there is this this is Helen Steiner Rice um, book page that you can use throughout the journal and then here is part of that certificate 1938 that's what that's from and then this is just some vintage stationery that I added and the envelope and like I said, there is gonna be more than that in this. I will add at least 10 more pieces um, with this. So if you're interested, um, just uh, send me an email. My email is listed below and just let me know which one you want. And again, we have the shabby girl, choose kindness and doubt your doubt. And they're exactly the same through there. This is the inside of this one here and then this one is the inside of the choose kindness and of course that's the one I just did so if you're interested in those just send me an email and I will send you an invoice through PayPal and get that out to you um, I have two more here same price they're gonna be $20 and that includes your shipping um, these are fabric covered and as you can see, they're thin again because all of the ephemera is in the bags. So there are two that are pretty much identical. It's the same fabric. It's just in a different location, uh, you know, placement because of the way it was cut. So I'll just flip through. This one is, let me give you the measurements real quick. This is five and a half by eight and a half. That's what this one is. And this has a cardstock and some fabric. So this one is not really, really sturdy, but it's nice. And if you put, you know, your pockets and stuff on there, it'll be fine. Um, I love this type of journal. This is the kind I make for myself. So there's a lot of vintage stuff in here. This is an ideals book and coffee dyed papers. And then this is just from a vintage book. Um, I'm not sure if it was a school book or you know what it was i just had a bunch of books that i just took and pulled pages from uh they were all vintage except for the writing paper um, i did not have vintage writing paper um, and this is from the early 90s um, and then in the center you have this map which i just thought was so pretty i love the maps i'm gonna flip through both of these because these are a little different And of course, you know, all these pages can be covered. I mean, that's what we do. You know, we buy journals and we cover the pages anyway. So, um, and this one has, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. So there is 52 pages. Uh, front and back in these journals and let me show you the ephemera this one has quite a bit because I didn't put anything in those so we'll start with the book pages I added uh, a vintage um, I don't know what this was out of but it's the binders that has um, better homes maybe this was with the flowers so I wanted to add one of those and then this is from the sewing book. And there is two pages of hymnal. I love the, the aging on this. So pretty. And then this is from a German book. And then, let's start going through here. We have two small coffee dyed tags. There are two of these journaling cards that I made one of these journaling cards that's on cardstock and sewn this is a pocket so you you could adhere this here and here and you would have a slot there and there here's another one 
And then this pocket here, and the reason I have not adhered these because they you might want to sew them. So I've left these open, but you've got this pocket here and here, and you could just sew or glue that. Here is an envelope that I just decoupaged and it is coffee dyed. The extra paper from each one is in here because you can use this as a pocket and just adhere it. Or you could use it as a journaling card. So that's up to you. Um, that's why these are cheap. I did not decorate them and I'm gonna let you guys do all the decorating. This is a vintage wallpaper um, journaling card, coffee dyed paper, a recipe card, and then you get a library pocket with the card that's coffee dyed. There is a um, recipe book page, a guest check, more of that paper. Um, I, this is just cardstock that I've made into a journaling card. And then you get a pocket. Um, there's a pocket in the back, so it's like a floating pocket. You have a journaling card there and here. And then there is some vintage wallpaper for a small journaling card and then a playing card, a vintage playing card. So this is what you will get, and I have to fix this later, in your package with your ephemera to go in this journal. And I put it in there and it really makes it very bulky. So um, of course you can take out what you don't want and add what you do. This one I think is pretty much the same. It's just got different pages, so we'll go through it. This one has got this, I don't know what that is, church, how, it looks like a church, I'm not sure. It's further below, and this one is up at the top. So that's really the only way I know to tell the difference. So this one is at the bottom, and we will just go through this one, same amount of pages. This is um, Avocado Dad. There's an inspirational uh, book page, um, vintage music paper, coffee dyed paper, uh, this is a vintage book page from the 1800s. And this is turmeric dyed paper and a book page from a children's book. More coffee dyed paper. This is um, just pattern paper. And then there's the center. And then it just repeats. So like I said, these are completely bare for you to decorate however you want. And there is actually going to be more ephemera in these also than what I showed you. So um, there will be at least 10 more pieces for that matter. So there, you're going to have a lot of ephemera to work with with these journals. So this one, we will say church at the bottom, church at the top. That's the only way I know how to, um, you know, make a distinction. And so they will both come with this plus at least 10 more pieces or more of ephemera. So if you're interested in these, again, same price, $20, that includes shipping. So just send me an email. So we have those five right there available. I don't want to put these in my Etsy shop because I'm just selling them so cheap. It's just not worth me listing. So if you guys are interested, please email me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed day and I'll see you soon. Bye.